everyone i hope you guys are doing good guys after several episode i thought uh, we will do something different i am regularly posting videos related to uh, jobs mostly industrial or uh, related field we are uh, trying to do like government jobs and internship and several opportunities which are available for the uh, our subscriber what we can say bsc to msc and pharma phd as well Uh, but in today's episode, I had a plan to do something different, and in this episode, we are going to discuss uh, the career opportunities uh, available for the biotechnology students, or in the biotechnology sector, you can say students can be different, uh, uh, no matter whether they are microbiology uh, branch belongs to microbiology branch or biotechnology or life sciences. So. Prior to that, let me introduce myself. Uh, I'm Dr. Namdev. Uh, I'm currently doing my postdoctoral fellowship from United States uh, Lewis Kate School of Medicine at Temple University, which is in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania state. So let's start. Uh, uh, this is my, I think, second attempt pra- after the biochemistry career opportunities in biochemistry. The link for this video is available in the description box. If you belongs to or if you want to see the career opportunities uh, after biochemistry, B.Sc., M.Sc. Biochemistry, you can click on the description box. You can find the link in the description box, and you can watch the complete video. now we'll we'll see the bio, uh, career opportunities in biotechnology sector so i'll start with general introduction like biotechnology every everyone knows but uh, to have a general intro about the sector for the newcomer students such as 12 pass or hsc uh, pass out students so biotechnology is uh, the branch of science which study mostly Uh, uh the cellular or biomolecular processes to develop the technologies or product development to help uh, to help or you can say the improve our lives and the health of our planet actually it's a plant but uh, you can say yeah we can say plant or, and which is indirectly related to or directly related to our planet or uh, human life applications of biotechnology includes uh, several areas are there uh, first uh, if we see the therapeutics uh, pre- preparation of recombinant insulin it's a gen- general uh, example i am giving uh, therapeutic molecules such as the recombinant insulin preparation gene therapy uh, in case of diagnostic if, if we look uh, the diagnostic test based on the pcr elisa uh, sequencing that is next generation sequencing single t- cell ne- um, sequencing are most of the most of the part of the diagnostic uh, uh, application preparation of or f- like production production of the genetically modified crops such as brinjal tomato bt cotton everything is now gmo uh, if you look in look into the market uh, to buy if you go to the market to buy some of the stuffs here in usa uh, specifically they will m- uh, mention whether it is uh, genetically modified whether it is or not so gmo product or not processed food such as production of cheese bread uh, fermented products waste management just such as use of uh, biotechnologically modified uh, b- um, bacteria to treat the, uh, the waste water energy production and so many things are there uh, we'll see uh, i can i can try i'll try to explain li- in detail but if possible so uh, as we saw some of the application we will see the differentiation and how it is used so in biotechnology if you see it is diverse and it has a tremendous scope uh, everything is related to uh, when when it comes to the research or you can say the academia academic research everything is related to biotechnology uh, uh, it has a tremendous scope if you go to this field Uh, in research like every everyone does the biotechnological research industrial sector you will have opportunities public sector you will have opportunities we'll see details in below so here three branch we can see the agri biotechnology healthcare biotechnology industrial biotechnology if we go by industrial bio- biotechnology as i said earlier microbial technology biofuel production green chemistry uh, enzyme catalyst production biomaterial production Uh, now if you go to the healthcare uh, biotechnology vaccine production diagnostic and biomedical instruments 
contract research CRO and tropical diseases if you go to the agriculture biotechnology you will have a scope to go for the new nutraceutical industry uh, food supply and new agriculture uh, traditional complementary medicines but which is based on the ayurveda value added products cro high crop yield uh, production the production of the uh, crop which which gives the high yield and natural substances now let me change the slide here now what we can do if if you are like if you go to uh, if you want to enter to the B, uh, biotechnology field here you can find after 12th science you can go for the bsc biotechnology uh, uh, there are several courses such as after in in cbz uh, group now this is general group for chemistry zoology and biotechnology now uh, several re uh, central institutes such as ICER, Central Research Institute, you can say, they have specific biotechnology course or uh, integrated biotechnology course like BSc. If you do uh, get admission for this integrated course, you will have to do BSc as well as master. It will be combined course. So this is integrated course. Several is uh, centrally uh, funded organization, research organization or institute. They have this kind of courses. Uh, the duration of now we will see the BSc Biotechnology it will be the, the normal course which is uh, degree course which is for 3 years uh, minimum requirement is 18 years of age limit uh, minimum percentage it depends on but uh, 55 to 60 percent in uh, HSC in 12th you will have to have it depends on the university some of the private colleges they can reduce their uh, percentage based on category also it, there is a differentiation so like uh, for you know, different categories uh, classes they have different uh, requirements so subject required you will have uh, you, you need to have uh, physics chemistry and biology uh, during your HSC or you can say the 12th uh, fees it depends and it varies according to the institute to institute but uh, you can say uh, for for a state government or central government funded institute you, you may need to have uh, 30,000 to 1.5 lakh per annum but it depends on the uh, uh, the institute admission process it is based on the merit list for the for the some of the institute but centrally funded institutes if you are going for this kind of courses or for integrated courses you need to gi go um, like appear for the uh, entrance examinations uh, average salary offered if you do your bsc and if you go to industry we are going to discuss several roles are there so average salary will be 4.5 lakh per annum but initially i'll tell you we have several i have i have prepared several videos related to the industrial opportunities or government opportunities basically for industrial opportunities you will get 1 lakh to 1.5 lakh if you are fresher means uh, around 12,000 or 15,000 salary per month it based on based on uh, your performance during interview based on your qualification based on your technical expertise so it depends on that so uh, the salary is here is is this this one is this the average salary if you if you check at this uh, employment roles if we look at uh, after after BSc what kind of role you can get it so medical writing is is currently everyone is doing everyone means most of the uh, the the research publication houses they are hiring for the uh, even the freelancer job you can get the medical writer uh, if you go to the industry you will have the senior executive assistant medical coder by uh, completing the clinical uh, courses you can go for the uh, medical coder job business analyst clinical research associate environment consultant etc etc uh, top recruiting sectors uh, are genomics uh, business development marketing biotechnology biotech product cancer biology research etc we'll see the industrial roles uh, and what kind of industries are available for the indian students in india we will see uh, after a BSc, if you don't want to go for the uh, job, you will uh, have to go for the MSc. Or if you want to do masters, so what kind of uh, 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 eligibility criteria you need to have, we'll, we'll see here. 
So in, if you go, if you want to go for MSc, you need need to complete your BSc with uh, life sciences, uh, life science degree. Uh, as as I mentioned here, as uh, one among uh, biochemistry, biotechnology, botany, zoology, microbiology, etc. So you can go for the biotechnology sector. Again, it depends on the industry. Uh, what? Sorry, um, excuse me. It depends on the institute to institute. They have uh, their own rules, but it's generalized uh, statement I made here. Uh, along with that, you need to have 55 percent marks, uh, and to, to be qualified to the uh, some some institutes. In in terms of some re uh, centrally funded, as I mentioned earlier, or some private universities, uh, you need to go for the institutional examination uh, after the graduation. And also the again eligibility candidates who are currently ap appearing for the qualifying exam are also eligible for apply means if you are BSc final year students you can go for the MSc entrance examinations if you are applying for the uh, institute where, uh, where they have entrance examination for that. Course fees and duration, duration is mas for masters it is two year and the course fees is again it depends on the institute uh, you, you will get uh, like based on 3000 or 4000 uh, in some of the state universities again if you go for the centrally funded institute you may need to pay 40000 to 2 lakhs per annum it varies institute to institute prior to taking admission you need to go through the website of their institute brochure everything so now after finishing MSc, what we can do, we'll see here. Now, these are some of the like the career opportunities. You can go for the quality assurance, which is QV, quality control, clinical research, pharmacovigilance, clinical data management, as I mentioned earlier. You can go for PhD. PhD, this one, uh, it is related to the CSIR NET and GRF and this lectureship, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll make some more videos on that. Uh, you can go for the scientific writing, uh, you can go for the market research, you can, you can do uh, master in business administration. Again, you can go for the CSIR, uh, NEET, UGC preparation, uh, you can apply uh, for the uh, project position such as junior research fellowship, fellow uh, or a research associate. It depends on uh, if you go for the private uh, institute or the institute who is uh, hiring for the non net candidate, you can go for the project uh, JRA for project research associate. Again, you can do your lecturer as a, as a lecturer, you can do, do job or lectureship. You can do these are some of the current uh, like the opportunities which are uh, available for the MSc candidates. PhD, uh, we can discuss in more whole. Uh, uh, in a single episode which is relevant to the CSIR and JRF preparation because I did my whole uh, mass uh, like PhD uh, followed by my masters. So these are the top biotechnology and biopharmaceutical companies in India uh, which are hiring for the BSc as well as the MSc candidates uh, which is in top like Bicon, Bangalore. I have prepared so many videos almost you can find 500 videos on our YouTube channel if you check uh, Bicon Serum you know, from Pune, uh, Dr. Reddy's Bharat Serum, Indian Immunologicals, excuse me, Immunologicals Hyderabad, Bharat Biotech, which is in Hyderabad, again they have opened their branch in Pune, uh, Standard Life Sciences, again Sai Life Science, which is the recent company, the last five years, I, I, if I am wrong, if I am not wrong, last five, ten years back they started. One of our subscriber got job there in Sci Life, uh, Life Sciences, uh, followed by completion of her uh, training program, which was organized at uh, National Chemical Laboratory Pune. Uh, she watched our video. She did completed her training, and she is now uh, doing job in uh, uh, what we can say the uh, Sci uh, Biotech, Bharat Biotech, Bangalore, Rosa Life Sciences, No Enzyme, TG Life Sciences. Uh, these are the mo most most known uh, hetero pharmaceuticals uh, along with that pharmaceutical companies along with Sinjin, uh, all of them are hiring for the uh, uh, 
regularly hiring for the BSc and MSc biotechnology students. You will get the list if you if you click on our uh, uh, channel. You will have like whole list. I think I have included this slide in the in the uh, coming things. Yeah, here it is. In on our YouTube channel, we have job in life sciences, uh, engineering jobs, uh, pharma jobs, industrial jobs. You will find uh, in in mostly industrial and life sciences. You will find all the biotechnology or life uh, life science related jobs, uh, which are which are available uh, after the BSc and MSc uh, qualifications. Along with that, uh, regularly I am preparing videos for the uh, internships, scholarship fellowship for BSc, MSc candidates, international in, uh, research fellowship also. We have one playlist there. You can find so many videos. You can go to that and you can check out whether you are eligible or not. And if you are eligible, you can apply for that. Uh, thank you this much for this is I I think for the biotechnology. Uh, you can follow me on uh, Facebook. You can follow me on YouTube. You can click on the link uh, or subscribe button. Uh, click on the bell icon so that if I post video, you will get the notification. Uh, you will find me on LinkedIn research gate if you are really really interested to the research uh, I'll be in, I'll be there where on LinkedIn and research gate I'm, I'm completely there on YouTube I'm trying my best to be there so you can uh, you can subscribe to the channel and thank you if you have any query you can click in the comment box you can type your comment you can follow me on on this platform thank you have a nice day